Since 2003, the James G. Martin Center for Academic Renewal has been a voice for excellence in higher education. We are dedicated to promoting knowledge over credentials, restoring genuine liberal learning, and ensuring that public investment in higher education provides value to students, taxpayers, and society. And now we're celebrating 20 years of renewal in higher education in North Carolina and beyond. It's incredibly exciting to look back over my time at the Martin Center to catalog our successes. It's great to see how far we've come and how far North Carolina has come. Since I began at the Martin Center, we have inspired new university policies. I got to testify twice before Congress. We contributed to legislation in North Carolina and beyond. The day that Florida passed our model DEI bill was especially exciting. We filed complaints with the Office for Civil Rights to help end discrimination against men in North Carolina universities. We've worked to hold universities accountable with sunlight and with lots of public records requests. We have exposed wasteful and politicized university spending, and we helped to make the UNC system the best in the country for student speech protection. My father started the Center for Higher Education Policy, became the Martin Center, because he wanted the best quality education at the most affordable value to the citizens and our students. And the way to do that is provide more information to the university and more information about the university to the public. We created the Martin Center to be an independent voice for academic integrity, sound management, and freedom of expression on college and university campuses. I am so proud of the Martin Center. The Martin Center has heroically been able to address many of the problems that it saw early on. 20 years ago, before I came to Raleigh and became president in 2007, the center sometimes seemed to be crying in the wilderness. Before the Pope Center was founded in 2003, taxpayers and tuition-paying parents were unaware that students were being indoctrinated in university classrooms. I think the Martin Center has had a, a major impact on education reform in North Carolina and actually beyond. Uh, and I think what a lot of what you're seeing now that's happening um, in universities is a direct result of ideas and concepts and, and perspectives that the Martin Center has brought to the table um, that perhaps weren't there before. And with the Martin Center's help on eliminating current issues, we can help as trustees, for example, make higher education relevant to a broader spectrum of North Carolina citizens. Martin Center is the first place I go for higher education policy at the state level. What's right for North Carolina is often what's right for the country. So the Martin Center reports would give us a fuller understanding of the issues that we would be voting on. And it was very useful to see what was in some cases a critical view of an issue. I think the Martin Center plays a, a really important role in holding the UNC system accountable to the citizens and taxpayers of this state, um, and indeed public universities across the country, to the American people. There's no other organization in North Carolina that focuses on higher ed at the state level and approaches issues and offers solutions from a traditional conservative perspective. During my work to get the Chicago principles adopted at UNC Charlotte, I had no greater resource than the Martin Center. You're not going to find this anywhere else. It's very important to get a number of different viewpoints before you make a decision. The Martin Center, acting as a, as a resource to, to myself and to other board members, they've just been an invaluable directing policy moves within the university. We need to have different voices and different opinions and different analysis of how our universities can best be run. Having the Martin Center's collaboration and leadership uh, in conjunction with our work on things like the Higher Education Working Group, uh, we think has really been an effective partnership and, and we're thrilled to have that at our disposal. Having thoughtful, passionate, loving critics that's the sign of a healthy civic culture. I'm proud to be in a place that supports public debate and cares about public education. Now, I don't always agree with the Martin Center's take, but they help drive the conversation and raise important issues for higher education. They make me think. When the Pope Center changed its name to the James G. Martin Center in 2017, it did not change its mission. It was a special honor for me to join the Martin family once again with the Pope family. But if it weren't unanimous, I would have had to decline. And so that 
in so many ways is a special honor for me. Every time they do a model bill for North Carolina, every time they have model policy, every time they have a deep dive of information into North Carolina state, it's obviously useful for North Carolina policymakers and citizens, but it's also useful well, for everyone in the nation. I definitely credit the Martin Center for helping to create that spark that set off a national movement for campus free speech legislation. I think I'm most proud of our work on free speech at North Carolina universities. When we started working on the issue of free speech, every school in the UNC system had at least one unconstitutional speech restriction. None of them had adopted commitments to free speech, and none of them had even heard the phrase institutional neutrality. Now. North Carolina is the national leader in student free speech. The North Carolina General Assembly has passed a free speech bill. Most of our institutions now get a green light from fire, and the UNC Board of Governors has prohibited compelled speech. North Carolina is a model for the nation, and I'm proud of our role in making that happen. I had ex exactly one internship, and that internship was with the Martin Center. It, it was a, a great experience, and uh, for a variety of reasons, I can honestly say that I would not be where I am now had it not been for my internship at the Martin Center. I felt like the Martin Center was was just doing such a great job to educate the public about what's really going on in our universities. And not only educating the public, but helping to bring about positive change. And I learned a lot about the, the central role that higher ed plays in our American political system and how safeguarding the integrity of those educational institutions is a paramount mission for the 21st century. I think one of the important things that the Martin Center does is just lift our spirits and keep us in the game and let us know that uh, they're on our side. And that that is critical. All of their reports are meticulously researched. They're clear and they have a quality that is unfortunately rather a rarity. They concentrate on facts and thoughtful policy not polemic. And that's what makes them so very effective. We just could not be doing what we're doing and getting the credit we have gotten without the Martin Center. But I think we give each other courage. We have to stand together on these things. And the Martin Center has been doing that for 20 years. The work that's done by the Martin Center is impartial. It's not partisan. It's solid information based on data and analysis. And it's thoughtful with an eye towards accountability and efficiency in higher education. We recognize higher education does a lot of good things too. And we try to have a positive approach and point out good things, but we're not shy about pointing out things that we think need some reform. Personally proud of how our people, our writers, our researchers, our editors, our whole team, how they've earned respect from the news media and have been able to get our message across to the public. It keeps me very much informed with what's going on in the world of higher education. And also, the Martin Center is always ahead. It's always been ahead of what the issues are, and that's always been important to me. Even today's information age with the internet, you're almost overwhelmed by information. So you need a organization like the Martin Center to highlight and focus on the current issues, on issues that may not seem major now, but actually have a major long-term impact. The Martin Center is part of a broader network of institutes, associations, and reformers who work together to drive improvement in higher education across the country. While the Martin Center was founded in North Carolina, and it'll always have a special interest in the performance of North Carolina colleges and universities, it's established itself as a national leader in higher education reform. The Martin Center has had many impressive accomplishments over the years. It's improved the governance of our colleges and universities. It's encouraged campuses to spend their money more wisely, and it has prodded them to protect free speech. And we're just getting started. I don't, I, I actually have no idea when, when Martin Center was found if they quite realized how revolutionary they were being.